from the Laycock Center in Williamsburg, welcome to Football Media Day and Tribe Athletics TV. This is Jay Colley with head football coach of the College of William & Mary, Jimmy Laycock. And first of all, Coach, congratulations on the team's comeback victory over Albany on Saturday. Well, it was, um, it was an exciting game, uh, no question about that. And, uh, you know, yeah, to be a young team and to be down for, you know, close to three quarters, really. I mean, we, it was into the fourth quarter, obviously, before we started the comeback. But then to, to come back and then score two times in the in the fourth and come up some big uh, defensive stands, uh, yeah, players were excited about that. Yeah, you must have loved it as a coaching staff, that last seven minutes near perfect football. On both sides, it took both sides of the ball to do it. Yeah, it's no, uh, yeah we had to because we took it, drove it down, and, uh, you know, Sean threw the pass to Devontae for, for the score, and then came back and in defense there were still five minutes or so left in the in the game and we had to get the ball back and the defense really did a nice job stopping forced them to punt and you know, the only bad thing was, you know, we ran the punt back for the touchdown, had had that call back because of a penalty, but we regrouped and uh, and executed very well. Coach, I think you've told me in the past it's good. Uh, you always have teaching moments in, in any particular game, but it's nice to have a teaching moment after a victory. They really pay attention a little bit more, maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, the the, the general teaching thing is that, uh, you know, it's never over till it's over. You keep playing. I mean, in regards to what happens here, what happens there. And then the other thing is you don't know what are the big plays in a game. For example, uh, one of the plays was Bill Murray blocking an extra point. And, uh, you know, you say, well, that's just one point, and plus with the way they were scoring on us. And But that came down to that was a, a big a big play for us. And then us getting the two-point conversion put us in a better situation, too, at the end. Tribe now 1-1 one and one in the CAA on the road this weekend before traveling home the following weekend for homecoming versus Maine. But let's turn our attention to uh, Towson uh, with a very, I'd say, surprising team, but they've got a good program at Towson. Yeah, right now. I mean, they, they do very well. I think they're, what, 17th, 18th in the nation. Uh, they're leading the league in just about every offensive category there is a quarterback Flacco which we, you know you recognize that name he is putting up some tremendous numbers for them they're spreading the ball out to their receivers uh, yeah and, and you look at it on tape you know you look at the record but then you look at them on tape and there's no surprise as to why they are as good as they are one of the things that I want to kind of harken back on last week, Coach, you told me before the game that you thought we had practiced well. Matter of fact, you said we were catching the football well last week. Uh, have you seen improvement week to week in the last several weeks by this very young team? Yeah, yeah, I have. I mean, you know, we we, we understand what we're doing. We're doing it more consistently. And again, speaking to your point about catching the ball, one of the things I look at out there is how many times the ball's on the ground. You know, and if, when it's on the ground a lot, there's not many good things happen to you offensively. And, uh, and we're doing a much, much better job of, of that not happening. We're hanging on the football, we're catching, we're throwing the balls where we should, executing pretty well. But again, we just got to make small steps as we continue to get better. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Jay.